question again. So how do we actually know the, the 25 meanings of one? I mean, how, 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 do, we know, how do we know the 25 meanings of one word in Sanskrit? Like, how do we know? See, let me tell you, let me be very honest. Scriptures are not supposed to be known. They are supposed to be experienced. You cannot intellectually understand. It is not a story. You read it like a storybook, you will not even like it. Just yesterday I read another article, Yoga Sutra, the most boring book ever. It's a nice article. From a very simplistic point of view, yes. But on the other hand, the beauty is, today, you will understand Yoga Sutra in one way, and after six months, you will understand it in a different way, and after ten years, you will understand it in a completely different way. Today, the meaning for you is now. For a, if you go and talk to this for a, with a person who is very hyperactive, the atha, the now, she is going to understand now. Yes, let's do it now. Now the yoga study starts. Okay, now let's not lose any other moment. She is going to understand like that. Then she practices yoga. She learns patience. She learns to calm down. How will she understand the now? Differently. Correct? The now has not changed. You have changed. This is the beauty of the scriptures. Scriptures don't change. You know why? Because the truth never changes. The truth never changes. That's why, you know, sometimes people say, you know, yoga is good for you. No. <laughs> yoga is yoga. Yoga is, yes. Okay, yoga is good for you. But yoga is yoga. You have to find the goodness in it for yourself. Yoga is good therapy. Is good and bad is with us. Yoga is yoga. Because you don't practice, yoga will not cease to exist. And it's not just humans. If tomorrow we discover Martians, and some alien entities, they are also going through self reflection. As far as you have mind, you will reflect. For example, tomorrow, if some alien civilization wants to invade us, just we can ask them what is the need to invade? Because they are scared. They want to occupy your space. They are insecure. Even though they are in a they are coming with light speed in super normal spaceships, they are still insecure. That's why they want to control the planet Earth. You understand? And it's, it's a fine example. But I am saying right from the worm on the floor to the aliens that are going to attack you. We are all insecure. It's not just about you. It's not just about you. A cockroach comes here, I do like this, the cockroach runs away. What is the difference between you and the cockroach? No, no, no difference. He has eight legs, he can run faster than you. That's the difference. But the cockroach is scared of you, you are scared of somebody else. The fear is still there. Yoga is released from this fear. It's a very, very uh, strong point. So right now, you do what you have to do. You read the scripture, you understand it the way it is. I have been reading Bhagavad Gita since I was a child. And every time I open it, it is something completely different. And that's the beauty. Something completely different. Because the words are the same, the way I interpret it is different. So you consult 10 books, you attend 100 workshops, doesn't matter. Because with every workshop you attend, with every book you read, your view, your idea of that one particular word is going to refine. And 
This is yoga. Refining yourself to your full potential. Don't lose this for Don't lose it. You know, it, it really takes a lot of self-effort and grace to sit and study the scripture like those. It takes a lot. You all must have done some really, really good deeds in your past and also the support from the devas that you are sitting here and listening to the story. Don't lose this, what you call it, interest. It's easy to sleep. I mean really, an honest witness. I mean if you lose interest, I am not affected. But if you lose interest, you will be affected for sure. Why? Because the wisdom that is coming towards you, will not come and the help with your liberation that it is wanting to give you, you will not get. If you don't come tomorrow for the next session or whatever, I am not at loss, neither is your at loss. And some, in some way, not even you are not at loss, maybe life wants to give you a different lesson in a different way. You take responsibility and try to come as much as you can. That is in your hands. God helps them who help themselves. I personally work with this principle. Grace will come to you if you are pure. And if you do your job. Why should God help you if you don't help yourself? It's very sensitive issue. A lot of things that I will say will involve God. If you have objection against God, then I will say universe, or life, or the divine, 